you know, the attitude of the players are brilliant. Uh, there's a few lads from camp in this morning, and we'll see about their participation later in the week. But you know, Chris and Andrew, Billy, Noel, and John Ryan was, was all in this morning, and uh, great to have them part of training. And like I said, we'll see how the, the week unfolds as, as to who gets selected where, and then you know, I guess most of them will be back in, in camp over the weekend. Yeah, I'm so happy for Dave. I thought he was excellent uh, against Exeter. And I think over the last two test matches, he's, he's really found form. Uh, you know, his scrummaging are, are really good, but it, it is carrying. I think he's carrying with, with so much aggression. And we all know the way he can defend, but, but so happy for him to, to do very well in a, in a very well established Irish side. Yeah, look, um, I think you've got to give the Kings a, a lot of credit. I think they've been doing really well in, in the summer weather in South Africa on a hard dry pitch. And, you know, we're playing on a 4G pitch on, on Friday night, so they've got a lot of speed. And I thought the way they came back to beat Edinburgh was, was very impressive. And, you know, they scored some lovely tries against the Cheetahs, come within four points there. And you know, they're a difficult opponent. And, you know, we've had a, a few weeks off. And we know after a few weeks we need to get out of them again. But all the focus will be on ourselves to hopefully put in a, a quality performance. We've got real trust in the squad. And we... We have to have balance, um, you know, as a as a coach and as a player, you know, the season is so long and it was a really tough 10-week block uh, just before. So we gave everybody 10 days away from rugby and it's important to spend time with your family and, and literally get away from the game. So we had a, a really good week of, of training last week, uh, gave them the weekend again open and it was all business this morning. So everybody's really ready to go and, you know, there's about... 36 guys that, that wants to play on, on Friday night and unfortunately I can only pick 23 so quality training this morning and everybody's really excited. It, it's a short block, it's it's three weeks, you know, we've got the Kings and we go to Wales twice in two weeks and then it's another two week block so pretty important for us to keep building towards that quarter final and, and you know, hopefully the latter part of the Pro 14. Look, if you if you look at the way they score their tries, they they are I think second or third in the Pro 14 for scoring from turnover ball because they've got such a lot of speed out wide. And somebody like Bjorn Basson uh, that I coach at the Bulls is is so good in terms of his speed. I think you, you know their centres over the last six weeks got a lot of ball away in, in contact. And their the game inside your 22, they've got forwards that come really hard and, you know, they've got those latches and, you know, we've got to be really good and disciplined to stop them from, from scoring tries. That's that's what they're good at and especially when they're behind, they, they seem to play for, with such freedom. So we'll have to make sure that we put in an 18-minute performance. Yeah, that's the beauty of the squad. Everybody, you know, know they've got a chance at, at playing and, you know, everywhere, the fly off centre, the scrum offs, there's, there's real competition. We've got four fit scrum offs, you know, we've got uh, quite a bit of locks that's, that's finding form. We've got four quality hookers, and you know, even at tight dead prop, yeah. there's, there's four guys, and you know, I can only pick two. So, really nice to have a, a lot of, uh, you know, let's call it a competitive drive within with the team. But, you know, we said we don't work against each other, we work with each other to hopefully get a good result on Friday night. Obviously, you have to. This 10 week block now, we've just gone past. I got a good bit of game time, so delighted with that. And hopefully, I can just keep pushing on now from that. Everyone across all the positions is good, like especially in loose head now. If I go in and look at a bit of footage, like Killer, Crow, James Cronin, they'll all come in and help if I need anything. So it's good to have those experienced lads, like international lads, to help me out with those kind of things. Like. I actually love playing on the 4Gs. Um, it's good. Like we, I played all my the A games I played this year. We played there, and we had the preseason there. So it's fun. Like you, I like to get the ball in hand, so you get plenty of chances on that. You just gotta make sure you're fit enough to keep up with the speed of it. There, they're very unstructured. You've seen their try against uh, against Edinburgh, the the game winner one. Like they've got serious pace, and especially on a 4G, that'll be a serious threat. So we've just got to make sure we can. Just watch out for those lads because obviously they have threat. The th main threat is the speed they have is incredible. Like so, in the position I'm in, any chance I get, I've got to really take it with two hands. And so these things, especially with how Dave's going um, up with the Irish team, I've got to get in there now and hopefully, if I get a chance, take it with two hands and really give put my hand up for uh, selection in the bigger games, which would be unbelievable. That's the goal. Like. And everyone that's fighting for opportunities and that, so the intensity is still there. Um, and we really got to drive it ourselves because we want to create that environment where we can swap and the lads aren't there and we still keep that same level of uh, 
that's what we got to do to be a championship team. Like. As you said, I went through the traditional pathway and it was cliche, but I grew up watching Munster when I was younger. Raj and uh, Strings, they were my heroes growing up. So it's definitely what I've aspired to do since, since a very young age. And um, a lot of people do that and maybe it's not for them. They don't enjoy rugby that much, but I really love the game. I really love being around um, this group of players. They're a real pleasure to work with. I could come in here, we're laughing, we're joking, but when it comes down to serious stuff, we're, we're all in it and we're all behind each other. So I, I couldn't ask for a better environment to be in. And um, that's why I love playing here and being part of something, something, something big. At the start, it is difficult that when I came in, I was, I was very young and 17 or 18 and I was, I was playing with CJ and those kind of lads. I remember that London Irish game vividly. Um, so that, that is a shock, but I think once, once you're all on that pitch, you're, you're all wearing red and you're all in it together. I think they have that respect for you then when, when they see the kind of work you put in or they see, see the way that you apply yourself. So there's, I think there's definitely mutual respect across, across all aspects of the squad. Once they see you chip in and they know you're behind you, they'll, they'll do the same for you. Probably the way some of us look at it, that these are our kind of European games. Like the, the lads, they kind of had their great wins in Gloucester and against Exeter and it's really tough. If obviously you're delighted for them and being part of the squad, um, moving on to the knockout stages is brilliant. Can't say it enough, but it is hard when you're when you're looking at it and you're thinking you do anything to be out there. So um, it, it's there's no point looking back at that. It's whatever opportunities put in your face, you have to take it with both hands and um, probably not put too much pressure on yourself. Like one game is ever going to define you, one one season or one play isn't ever going to define you. So. Um, it's trying to grasp it with both hands and see as an opportunity rather rather than a burden. Um, in terms of the Kings, we we set our previews this morning. They're going to love the the fast track in Cork. Um, they played a lot of depth, a lot of width. They've good power up front. They they've a power game inside our twenty two, which we're going to be ready for. And um, some of the best athletes in the league are are in their back line. So we're, we're under no illusions about how good they're going to be.